So I've not opened any ports on my router, for example, just so you know. Wow, that was quick. Hi there, today we're unboxing a wireless video doorbell. So this particular one is by a company called NRJ and details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So let's take a quick look around the packaging. So it comes nicely packaged with a picture of the actual doorbell, some details here. So it has motion detection, two-way audio, Wi-Fi connectivity, over 2.4 G just to note, and rechargeable battery that lasts up to three to four months. Okay, and they're highlighting the fact that it's a slimmer design to their previous one they had. Also to note, it comes with a two year warranty. If we come around this way, this is the app. You're gonna be needing to use this system and it's called NRJ Smart. If I come around the other way, some details I've already mentioned. And if we come around the back, just specification regarding the actual video doorbell. So. It supports micro SD cards up to 64 gig, has four meter PIR distance. And if we come down here, just to note, 720p resolution at 30 frames per second. Okay, and there's also a flap on this, just showing the actual doorbell. Some more details here, just highlighting the fact that it's got a wide angle on there. Okay, so let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging. So let me quickly go through them one by one. So initially you've got a user guide. So if I open that up, shows you details on the actual video doorbell and provides details on installation as well. And all in English, just to highlight. Okay, next you've got a quick start guide. So if I open that up, number of pages on this, still very small and basic details on setting up the app. And again, all in English and really looks very straightforward. Okay, and then you've got a USB to micro USB cable. Build quality looks good on there. Nice thick cable and connectors look good. In terms of cable length, you get 90 centimeters on here. Next, you've got some fixtures. So two raw plugs, two screws for mounting and a replacement screw that goes underneath the actual video doorbell together with an Allen key for removal of the video doorbell. Next, you've got a battery, and that's a battery to put in the video doorbell, obviously to run it without using power. Okay, so next, let's take a look at the actual video doorbell. So, slim design to this one, and if I show you the dimensions, it comes in at around 13 and a half centimeters by three centimeters by four and a half. So quite a compact design to it. Now in terms of actual build, you've got a matte silvery finish here and a bit of a design on this and you've got the logo there, obviously branding. And lenses here, you've got the doorbell button here, speaker either side it seems, and a USB point there. Not quite sure it should really be visible on the outside. I would have thought it'd make more sense to have it behind. So if you had a situation where you could actually power this, you just plug it straight in. You don't really want it behind there. Okay, and coming down below, you've got a screw mounting it onto the back plate, and that is a security screw, so it looks like an Allen key would work on that, which they've provided. And all plasticky finish, so this feels tougher than the actual back. So let's take the Allen key and take off the screw and see what's behind here. Okay, the screw is off, let's take the plate off. And that's it, you don't really see much beyond that. And seeing if there's a point here, yeah. You can prise off the back. So if I come round like so, there you go. That's the inside of it. Okay, so you've got a reset button there, and I'm looking for the card slot, and that's just there. And I've got a micro SD card here, so let me slot that in. That's just pushed in. So obviously they don't provide a card. It'd be nice if they did, so obviously one less thing to buy. And obviously this is a slot where the battery goes in. So let's get this the right way around. I'm guessing it's this way from what I can see. And that's it, yeah. So we'll just put it back on. 
Oh, okay, it's ready to pair. So let's put it back together and make a start at setting this up. Okay, so let's make a start at setting up this video doorbell. So I'm at my Android phone here. Let me go to the Play Store and we wanna search for NRJ Smart. And that's the app you wanna install. So let me click install and let's give it a moment. Okay, so the app's installed. Let's click open. And next you need to register an account. So if I click there, click agree, and let me enter in my details off camera. Okay, so I've registered an account and let me sign in now. So let me click the login button. Okay, so this is what you're initially presented with. So let's click add device. These are all the devices they have. So let's click on smart camera and let's confirm if it's flashing. It's not flashing at the moment. Let's give it a moment. There you go, it's ready to begin pairing and it's flashing now the light. So let's click next step. So I need to enter in a Wi-Fi password. So let me do that off camera. Okay, so I've entered in my Wi-Fi password. Let me click confirm. Okay, next it's gonna present a QR code. So I need to hold the camera close to the device so it can scan in the code. So let me do that now. There you go. There's a button now saying, I heard the beep. Let me confirm that. Let's give it a moment to connect. So there you go, adding device succeeded. If I click done, and there you go. You can see my cameras in position if I move that. So this will give you an idea of the lag on there. So let me drop it quickly. So it's about a second, which is standard on a lot of these devices. Okay, so if I go back, that's how you see the video doorbell. And if I click it, let's go through the options you have available. So if I click here in the corner, you can modify the actual device name. You can share it with other people. Device info, that will show IP address, MAC address details. Power management setting, if I click on that, Okay, battery level 10% at the moment, power source is battery, and it says notify me when battery level drops to 20%. Okay, let's go back. Basic function settings. Okay, you can flip the picture, add a watermark, and audio mode, one-way audio or two-way audio. Okay, go back, go back again. PIR on-off switch, so if I click on that, you can change the actual PIR mode on there so you can have it low, middle, high, off. So they're the options available. Let's leave it on low for now. Okay, SD card settings. So that's the SD card in there, so I can format that. So let me do that now. Let's give it a moment to format. Okay, so let's go back. And then you've got feedback, firmware, information, and remove device. And that's all the options you have available. So let's go back from there. Back on the screen here, so you've got speaker icon. So if I turn the volume up. Test one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. You can just about hear that. Okay, next you've got SD, so standard definition. If I click on that, picture gets enhanced and you've got high definition. Next to that, it's a full screen option. Let me click that. Spin my phone around. Now, if I look on the options available, you have two. So obviously speaker and microphone, and that's it. So let's go back. Returning back, you've got a speak option. That's not gonna work because I'm doing a screen record, so I'll show that in a moment. Next, you've got record. So if I click that, it needs access to the storage on the device of my phone. If I click it now, there you go, recording kicks in. Next, if I turn that off, may have to come out for a second. And just to show it does work, and I'll click stop, and there you go, it saved the video. Next, you've got screenshot. If I click that, it's saved a screenshot of what you're seeing. Playback 
obviously it will play back what's been recorded. Going back, next album. So you can see the photos or the videos. And that's it, simple as that. And if I go back, that's all it is. Nothing too complex, simple to set up as well. Okay, so next, let's show this video doorbell in action. So, let's press the button. So there you go, straight away. So if I accept that, straight away it goes there and you can speak to the person on the other side and see picture as well. So performance seemed good. Next, I'm gonna come back on this and we're gonna turn off our Wi-Fi and we're gonna go straight onto data. So 4G's kicked in and now let's test it. So I've not opened any ports on my router for example, just so you know. Wow, that was quick. So again, if I click accept, and let me show the lag on this. So if I flip it, not too bad actually. Performance seems good. So there you go, works straight away. No need to open any ports on your router, cloud-based connectivity on this. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to show was the fact that you're not limited to just using the NJ Smart app. You can also use Smart Life and the Tuya app. So I'll briefly show how to set it up using these apps. So, got Smart Life here. Let me start it up. And these are the devices currently have set up. Next, if I click plus, and we click security and sensor, smart camera, and let's just confirm the lights flashing, which it is. Okay, so let's click next and need the actual Wi-Fi password for my test network. So that's already entered as it's cached on my phone. Let's click confirm, click got it. And next it needs to scan in the QR code on the device. So let me hold my phone close to the actual video doorbell and let it scan in. There you go. Now we've got a message saying, I heard the prompt. Let me confirm that and let's give it a moment to connect. Okay, so the device is added successfully. Let's click done. And there you go, connected and working. So excellent that it can work with Smart Life and even to your app. So keep that in mind. Next, let's go to the options just to see if it's any different and no. It's exactly the same. Okay, so next, let me show the motion detection in action on this video doorbell. So if I select the video doorbell, let's give it a moment to connect to it. Okay, so you can see the picture, so it's connected. So if I click in the corner here, it's the PIR on off switch here. So if I click on that, and you've got four options. So off, low, middle, and high. Let's set it to high, click confirm, and go back, and go back again, and let's come out completely. Okay, so now if I wave my hand over the video doorbell, the light comes on for a moment, and there you go, on the phone it's appeared movement detected. Now if I click on it, it'll go to the event log, which has the alarms in there, and this is what it reports on this date, movement was detected. Now, the thing to note about this, obviously there's a lot of light there, this is the, the lighting in the unboxing area I've got it hasn't picked up my hand covering it. So what there is, there's a slight delay in the camera actually becoming active. So as I wave my hand over it, what happens, it activates it. And if it's very quick movement and it moves away, it's not gonna capture it. So keep that in mind. So if you've got someone at your door standing there and not ringing the doorbell, it will pick that up. If someone's run past it very quickly, you're not gonna catch that. It's not gonna be quick enough to catch that. So functionally it does work well, but you've gotta be aware, obviously timing wise, how it works. Okay, so the other thing to show is motion detection on 4G, for instance. So I've disconnected from my Wi-Fi, and what I'm gonna do, just put my hand over the camera, so the video doorbell, give it a second, and there you go, motion detected. So works in both scenarios when you're at home, and when you're out and about. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to show was the actual smart scenes in the NJ app. So if I click at smart scenes at the bottom, you've got two options at the top, scene and automation. So here's where you can create your own sort of smart scenes 
to enable you to do something a bit more cleverer than just clicking a button or anything like that. So this would be a scenario, for example, where you had the video doorbell, someone came up to the door in the evening, you could get it perhaps turning on some lights in the background. So for that scenario, if I click on automation, click automatic auto action, click on the plus device, NJ video doorbell, motion detected, click there. So this is the condition. If motion detected, execute the following action. So if I had uh, a smart light bulb or a smart plug connected to a light, you could get that turning on. So giving the impression that someone's at home. So interesting, you can do that. And you can set conditions that only if, for instance, it's the evening between a certain time for this sort of action to occur. So very clever what you can do with this. And let me go back for a second and just in the scene and show you what's available in there. So if I click on that device, video doorbell, so you've got motion detection sensitivity, got the options there, and PIR switch, so you can uh, play around with that. So some nice smart functionality available with this product. Okay, so next I'm gonna show the smart scenes in action. So I've actually got an NJ Smart Siren and I've added it in on the app here. Now, if I go to smart scenes, I've set up some automation. So if I go to the first one, I've set a scenario where if there's motion detected on the video doorbell, the alarm siren will go on. And now that is valid all day. And turn off alarm is another piece of automation I did. And what that does, if the siren is on, it waits five seconds and then turns it off. So you wanna see it in action? So if I wave my hand over the video doorbell, Give it a moment. And there you go. The siren goes off. You get a notification as well. So you can even have it as a warning someone's outside your house. So even before they've rung the doorbell. So excellent functionality there. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this wireless video doorbell. Very simple to set up and configure on their actual app, which is NJ Smart, but you're not limited to just using that. It can work with Smart Life and the Tuya app. In terms of design, I don't like the fact the charge points at the side. I would have preferred if it was at the back. So in a situation where you can drill a hole in the front of your property and have the wire coming out of there, it would have been more preferred. So you could have it actually just plugged in permanently so you don't have to rely on the battery. In terms of battery life, I'm not too sure about that. It really depends on the activity and the options you have selected. So if you had PIR activity on and there was a lot of activity outside your property, it's gonna go off quite a lot and obviously reduce the actual life on there. But in terms of functionality, it does work well and even has the ability to work with smart scenes. So you can set up your own sort of smart things to happen. So for instance, you could have a light going on in the background if someone does ring the bell. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.